Hello, and welcome to the audio guided tour for the Museum of Celebratory Art. Please enter an exhibit number to hear more information. Confetti Geode 021, 3 inches by 3 inches, 1 inch deep. Mixed media on canvas. Confetti is adhered to canvas in varying sizes. Then plaster strips are hand applied in small sections to create a textured, rock-like surface. Once dried, the plaster is painted and the edges are accented with gold foil. The artist creates these whimsical pieces to serve as a colorful reminder that there is often magic beneath the surface. That even if something is covered in shades of gray, it can still be beautiful inside. Confetti geodes are a physical representation of accepting that life is not always sunshine and rainbows, but at the very center, at our core, we can still intentionally choose joy. This original piece is currently available for purchase from the artist. Please enter an exhibit number now to hear more information. Disco Ball Dream Magic Art Collage. Greetings from Confetti Land, home of the Confetti Bar. I'm Jessica, founder and confetti artist. And I'm Alexis, head of happiness. Join us here in this magical, colorful place where we have fun, feel feelings, and encourage you to embrace your unique version of happiness and all of its beautiful, messy pieces. We are so excited to have you join us. Well, here we are. We back. Season two. Can you believe it? How do you feel? I'm good. I'm ready. I'm excited. Good. It feels good to have a season under our belts and be kicking off another season. We love to see it. Yeah. I'm excited. And I think um, knowing the guests we're going to have and the things mm-hmm. we're going to talk about, I'm super excited. Mm-hmm. Um, and hopefully all our confetti people will be just as excited to hear it all. I, I'd like to think that Confetti Land is in for a treat. I think so. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I think as we have sort of determined, season two here has a pretty clear theme mm-hmm. that kind of centers around art. And so mm-hmm. I think maybe it's a good time to talk about the art of confetti. Let's do it. I mean, with the confetti artist. <laughs> Thank you. You flatter me. Um, But no, I think so. I mean, for me personally, as we've talked about, it's about confetti, yes, but it's not really about confetti. And Mm -hmm. confetti is both a physical and symbolic representation of everything we're trying to do here. And I think when we talk talk specifically about the art of confetti, I think it sort of has some layered meanings as far as the art of making confetti itself, because I do hand mix every batch and there's a lot of kind of handmade elements that can go into it, but also then using the confetti once it's made as kind of a medium itself for other art forms and for creating other things. Um, So I think it'll be fun to kind of chat about both of them. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think we can kind of start with the process of actually making confetti because obviously we have kind of a signature style going on um, Mm -hmm. and you know there's there's different ways to approach it but in general I really appreciate and enjoy making confetti that's made of a lot of different textures and colors and materials and it's not just sort of one it's always two-dimensional but it's more dimensional by having sort of the different colors and textures and all of that kind of fun stuff to go into it Mm -hmm. um so you know using different materials obviously we have like our signature style mix that is a base of shredded paper and then there's sequins and metallic bits and you know sometimes we add some extra fun stuff into it um but that's kind of where it starts and then, of course, biodegradable confetti. There's three mm-hmm. types of that, um, which we can chat about, I guess, if you if you want. But we have our, our solufetti, which mm-hmm. is water-soluble confetti. Our sprout fetti, which is made from seed paper, so it actually grows wildflowers. So um, and then the floral fetti, which is made from freeze-dried flower petals and different herbs and things like that. 
and then adding mica or lavender and kind of different things as well on the earth friendly side, I think is really important, especially mm-hmm. for those outdoor celebrations. Um, but yeah, like each style has its own kind of look and feel and different materials that go into it. Um, but I've always really, really seen it as an art form. And, and mm-hmm. I'm not suggesting I'm like, you know, doing anything wild and crazy here, but um, it is the mixture of all the different things. And spoiler alert, I think that's a, a symbol for mm-hmm. life and a metaphor for kind of life itself that's made up of all these different little bits and pieces and all of that. Um So, yeah, that's kind of how I like to approach the actual physical confetti itself. Mm -hmm. I have a question. (laughs) (laughs) Whenever you are going to design a mix, do you kind of have a process? Like, do you already have a vision of what that's going to look like? Because I have had the great privilege (laughs) of you letting me loose in the confetti (laughs) studio and just like kind of making whatever I want. But Mm -hmm. whenever you make a mix, I don't know, you just truly do such a good job. And I personally kind of get overwhelmed looking at all the things. So how (laughs) how do you do it? (laughs) I mean, honestly, at this point, 10 years in, like, it is so second nature to me, like, Mm -hmm. as maybe, I don't know if it would be obvious or cliche to say, but it's like, I just like, I view the world in confetti. Like, yeah. When I look at things, I like automatically translate it to a confetti mix in my head. And I don't know if I could describe it, but I'll try. Um, But I mean, it obviously like, you know, color is really the basis, right? Mm -hmm. And I think we know and we've talked about um, in various pieces of content throughout our site and social media that, you know, colors have meaning and they have feelings and different colors mixed together in certain ways can evoke different feelings and kind of have a different look or feel. Um, and I literally, I have like, you've seen uh, like an entire bookshelf just like lined with paper and like, (laughs) it's just like every color imaginable and all the various shades. Mm -hmm. Um, so it really starts there with the basis of color and like, what is it? Am I, am I translating a brand? Cause obviously if I'm working on kind of a corporate order for a small business and they want like branded confetti, Mm -hmm. I start there. Like, you know, what are their brand colors and sort of how do I start with that as the base? Um, if I'm doing like a theme, you know, whether it's for a holiday or just, you know, a random theme that I've come up with, um, again, it comes back to the color and sort of where does that start? Um, the, the basic colors and I literally just start pulling paper and like putting them together and putting them out on my table and just like constantly swapping them out and do these look good together and, Mm -hmm. you know, what can I change? What can I add? And then to me, it's a lot about contrast as well. So even if, you know, I, I have someone who wants confetti and they have like a particular shade of blue, let's say, I never want to make confetti that's just that color blue. Like mm-hmm. it needs to have a couple shades lighter, a couple of shades darker. And then when you mix it all together, like you get that depth and that interest. Mm-hmm. Um, and so like you have to add a variety of color, um, whether it's within kind of the same color family or, you know, contrasting colors or just complementary colors, any kind of mixture, you know, sometimes you know, adding kind of a really bold, you know, if it's sort of a more neutral mix, but adding like a really bold neon or like something to kind of add that little, little extra something Mm -hmm. um, that could be fun. But yeah, I mean, there's not really a a perfect recipe. It really just depends, but the base is color. And, you know, that's where I start. And once I have sort of those pieces of paper in those colors that I need, that's where you start to add some different elements and different textures. So whether it's like metallic for like shine or sequins, Mm -hmm. which could both be shiny or matte or whatever, but it adds a different kind of texture, a different shape. Um, You know, (laughs) I've added some silly things to confetti depending on what it's for. I've used coffee beans. I've used... um, We actually, way back, way back in the beginning, we once did an order for Cottonelle. So I actually like cut up Cottonelle toilet paper and mix that in with it, which they thought was really fun. Um, So so I'm constantly like kind of thinking of like, what are some other things that can be added? Like sometimes I'll Mm -hmm. get like old, like secondhand books and, you know, shred the paper pages from that and just all the different things and constantly like being open to 
what could make for really fun confetti. And mm-hmm. obviously like tissue paper and um, mylar and all of that can go into it as well. So mm-hmm. it's really the combination. And I, I don't know that I gave a great answer to my process because it's it's more intuitive than anyone else, anything else I would say, but mm-hmm. um, that's kind of generally how I approach it, you know, starting with the base colors and then what can I add in that's going to add that depth and interest and, mm-hmm. and fun, obviously, right? Because that's yeah. ultimately what the point is. For sure. I feel like that was some really good insight. One of my favorite things um, that you did kind of unexpected was the notebook paper in the back to school. Um, oh, the yes. shredded notebook paper. That was super a fun cute. one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I love it. So we start there with the the actual confetti, which obviously we, you know, encourage people to use for celebrations. You can toss Mm -hmm. it, you can throw it, you can put it in your cards, you can decorate a table with it and kind of all the, what I would call traditional ways you might use confetti. Um, But to me, it never stops there. And I always kind of like to say when I meet people and, you know, we talk about confetti and it's like, to me, my job is to to not only like hand make the confetti, but then to figure out like a bajillion ways to use it and And more projects. Um, (laughs) So if you have followed along for a bit, you might be familiar with that. But I mean, that's to me what it's about. So it's again, not just making the confetti itself, but then what does it mean and where does it go from here and how can we kind of take it beyond just that party supply and use it in ways that are going to either be useful or silly or just fun or artistic and just something that can, again, be that symbol, that reminder and sort of put you in the moment and surround you with color and fun and joy and make you really kind of be in the moment with it. Um, so obviously, we have cataloged 101 of the ways to use confetti in our 101 Things to Do with Confetti magazine. Um, if you follow on Instagram at the Confetti Bar, Alexis often will, will showcase some different ideas from the magazine and how to use them. And shameless plug, if you sign up for our Confetti Club email list at theconfettibar.com slash join, you can get a free digital version of said magazine. Love a freebie. Um, Yes. We also do a physical version, which is just extra fun. But Mm -hmm. it's really meant to be just something to inspire you. And and as it says in the magazine, some are silly, some are practical, some are you know, more art projects. Some are just ridiculous, but all of it is just meant to get you in that mindset of confetti, get you in the confetti mode and to, mm-hmm. to really embrace the beauty and the mess that comes along with it. Mm-hmm. Broaden your confetti horizons, if you will. <laughs> yes. And obviously that's just 101. I would say at this point, we've, you know, had many, many, many more ideas than that, um, that yes. we all so share in various ways, but um, it's meant to be a starting point and, and a jumping off point to think mm-hmm. of all of the fun things to do with it. Um, but again, I think it just comes back to the idea in general that like, again, looking at confetti as an art form and each of us are artists. And I know that could maybe sometimes be like a hot topic for people like who don't consider themselves creative or an artist. And mm-hmm. I'm of the mindset that everybody is an artist and everybody is creative and just like, life itself is a beautifully messy work of art and you know you kind of have the ability to design that life the way you see fit and what brings you joy and what kind of gives you purpose and excitement and all of that kind of stuff um so to me you know another layer of confetti is just really inspiring people to see themselves as artists and using this as a medium and a way to kind of access that creative part of you and think of it in ways that you maybe wouldn't. And I think, you know, a lot of people when they hear confetti have a certain idea in their mind and that's all valid and and, and true. But to me, I always want to kind of push it to the next level. And it's like, okay, what is confetti beyond just something that you you throw at a party or an event. Um, Mm -hmm. And I encourage everyone else to kind of do the same and use it as that starting point. Um, So, yeah, I mean, the art of confetti. The art of confetti. I One of my favorite projects that you have kind of more recently started is the confetti embroidery. 
I am obsessed <laughs> because I'm like, yeah, I can definitely give me hot glue, give me Mod Podge. I can add confetti to anything. But I just feel like that is next level. So I will say, I mean, I don't know. It's a blessing and a curse that I can't like give myself a new hobby without <laughs> then figuring out how to incorporate confetti into it. It's my favorite. Um, but embroidery has definitely become one of my hobbies. And while not everything I embroider mm-hmm. has confetti, it is definitely fun to add it into things. And I just like sewing confetti onto things. I'll even like sew it onto like paper artworks and things like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It just has like a different vibe to it. Um, obviously, as you mentioned, like hot glue and Mod Podge are like staples <laughs> in, you know, creating art with confetti. And we will put that on just about anything and we yes. like we have um but yeah there is just a different look and it's a different process it's I think more meditative like sewing it and you literally have to like sew each individual piece and be much more intentional with it mm-hmm. um so yeah it's a really fun one and I enjoy kind of thinking of how to incorporate it in kind of images and sort of use it in a unique way um like the first one I did it, I found this pattern and it was like a hand pouring out like a cup. And in the original pattern, it was like flowers coming out of the cup. And I was like, nope, we're putting confetti. So yes. that was one of my first ones. And then for you as a gift, I did, yes. um, it's like uh, someone blowing like a dandelion, but oh. instead of like the little puffs in the original pattern, I, I made confetti. So it was like blowing a confetti dandelion. Never has um, there ever so. been a more perfect <laughs> Alexa's um, art piece ever made. I it's love the it. best. I love it. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's what it's about to me. It's like, you know, thinking outside the box and like forcing you to think of using it in creative ways. And after 10 years of working with confetti, you would think maybe I would be out of creativity. But for some reason, I'm not. And I'm constantly mm-hmm. thinking of different things to do with it. And sometimes it works. Sometimes it's silly and sometimes it's sort of a fail um Mm -hmm. but I just sit down with it and like think how can I use this today and it inevitably leads me to somewhere fun and exciting whether it's Mm -hmm. quote unquote a success or not um it always is exciting and I think that's what I more than anything what I want to do with these projects and kind of the art that I create with confetti and the confetti itself is to really encourage everyone to try to master that art of infusing confetti into Mm -hmm. your everyday life and and whether it's literally or symbolically that part to me doesn't much matter but like really using it as that reminder um to to look for joy and to think outside the box and to be creative and and to design Mm -hmm. a life that you really you know love and enjoy um and i think at the end of the day that's really really what I'm trying to do here. And I like to do that through the art mm-hmm. of confetti. Yeah, that's amazing. I um, One of my favorite things that I think helps give like an experience to all that you just said is the confetti jars that you've created. Shameless plug. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but truly, like you give something, it's so pretty. It can become like a little art piece in your home um and you can obviously use it for like different projects but i to me that's such a fun reminder of all that you said of like embracing the joy and looking for the happy bits in life and that was the goal right and i mean obviously yes we're going to talk about some of the products that we create right (laughs) but um like that is the point for me and you know one of the most commonly asked questions i got you know especially in the early days of the confetti bar like people would be like oh my god like this is so beautiful i love it but what do i do with it and like Uh what do i do with it was like the constant sort of theme and so that's when i you know kind of sat back and was like well i'll give you some ideas of what to Mm -hmm. do with it um and so when i create new products like i am constantly trying to add kind of that experience element and that like deeper meaning like yes if you want to have confetti to use at a party go ahead, have fun. Like that's part of what, like, that's part of what it's meant for. Mm -hmm. Um, But I would love to see it become something like even more symbolic than that. And something that is like a lasting memento, a reminder. And, you know, the idea isn't that you just like put this on a table at a party and then like scoop it into the garbage at the end of the night. Like it's something that you put on your desk and you can have in a like really cute little jar and you can put little notes in it. You can put fake flowers in it, like a little vase and, you know, have it just be there as that 
symbol as that reminder, as we've said. Um, but it's also decorative. It's pretty to look at. It just makes you happy, you know, to see it mm-hmm. there. So I think, you know, it can be, it can have multiple purposes, you know, and and I think that's the fun of it. And the jars were a way for me to to try and capture that, that aspect of the confetti. And it is something that can be more special and sort of more meaningful. And, and I want people to have it in their homes as decoration and, and to keep it as something that is constantly there. And it's not just something as ephemeral as I think a lot of people consider confetti to be. And again, not that it can't be, but um, we're, we're trying to push it a little bit to that next level. Yeah, for sure. So I think maybe we can chat a little bit about like the different kinds of art Mm -hmm. that we try to incorporate the confetti into. I think there have definitely been kind of some themes and some different go-tos, I would say, you know, when I'm kind of looking at making something new. Um, And I think at the end of the day, like, you know, I can consider myself a lot of different things, but if I had to sort of put one one thing that I call myself, it would be a confetti artist. And again, that that means in multiple ways, not just the confetti itself, but what I create with it. Mm-hmm. Um, and mixed media, I think, is just it's it's my lane. And I think as described in how I make the confetti itself, like I am not good at sticking to just one thing. Like I need variety. I need all the colors, all the textures, all the different things. And when I'm creating art, it's no exception. And that's why confetti often is just like one element of another art piece. So like Mm -hmm. it talks about the embroidery. Um, Collage is something that I really, really love to play with. And I think, again, it's just, it's it's like another form of confetti. It's... Mm -hmm collecting all of these little images and pieces from magazines and how can you rearrange them into different configurations and how can I add more dimension to it? And I think, again, it's just such a symbol for life that it's like made up of all these different little like pieces and fragments. And I just think it's so cool when you look back at a collage and it's almost like a, an eye spy of like magic and wonder in color. And I try to just make them as yes kind of exciting and bold as possible with like some sort of theme to each one but you can really kind of get lost in all the little details and the little pictures and the words and then adding confetti to it in some way of course Mm -hmm. um and I just think it's really fun to use all the different materials and I I'm constantly again adding confetti to anything I can and I would say that you know I've probably, you know, been some form of an artist my whole life. I've done different things, painting, jewelry making. I mean, you name it, I've probably done it. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's like, okay, I'm going to learn watercolor. Well, how can I incorporate confetti into that? So I'll do a watercolor piece and then I'll sew confetti to the paper. Mm -hmm. Um, The the confetti geodes are a personal favorite of mine. I just... Yes. I don't even know where I got the idea for them. It was years ago, but... There's just something so simple yet magical about them. Yes. Um, And like, you know, having this sort of gray outer layer that, you know, is obviously meant to represent kind of like a rock. And then inside is just all this colorful magic, I think, Mm -hmm. again, is just meaningful in itself. And it's meant to kind of be a commentary on, you know, finding the joy amidst the messy or the seemingly ugly or you know not as exciting and kind of looking for that that magic in the color Mm -hmm. um so yeah I mean mixed media is definitely I would say if I had to boil it down like that's the kind of art I enjoy and that's that's what I want to bring to people and again I am just honored when someone has something that I've made hanging in their home or their office and it it means something to them it spoke to them and I mean, that, that's art in general, right? It's meant to, mm-hmm. to kind of tell a story and it's meant to make you feel something. And if I can take confetti and have it live outside of just a party or a celebration, then I feel like I've I've done what I've set out to do. So that's yeah. always a really good feeling when someone has some confetti art, even if it is just a confetti mix. It always feels like I, I am putting little bits of hope and happiness out into the world, um, Mm -hmm. which is really all I can ask for. I can attest that you are. 
<laughs> for me personally, and Thank I know you. for others too. <laughs> Thank you. It makes me feel all the things, and that's the point. <laughs> oh, I think that's a really and important distinction. <laughs> That's the point to make you feel. Um, no, but I think a really important distinction also is that confetti doesn't just have to be for happy things. And I think, you know, just as much as art to me is just meant to make you feel, whether good, bad, or anything in between, mm -hmm. um, it is just meant to evoke some sort of emotion. And, and I think that's what I want to do with the confetti. And while, yes, a majority of it is meant to make you feel joy and happiness. That doesn't mean you can only use confetti in those joyful and happy moments. And I think that's what I want people to really understand is confetti is the medium through which you can process emotions and, and kind of have it as like the little bits of hope that you hold on to, you know, as we often say, and, mm -hmm. and I could be in a really bad mood or just like not feeling it or feeling sad or whatever it is. And confetti will be there for me. And whether, you know, I'm not suggesting you just, you know, throw it and everything is better, but right. it's something that, you know, like when you're ready, like it's there and you can look at it, you can touch it. It's, it's tactile. You can, feel it, see the different colors. You know, if you do throw it, you sort of, you know, can hear it sprinkling down around you. Um, and so to kind of know that it is there whenever you need it, whether that is for a happy reason or maybe a not so happy reason, I think that's important. And I think that's why I want to incorporate it in art and have different products that make it more of a keepsake um, so that it is there in whatever way you need it and for whatever you're going through or feeling. Um, so that's a really important thing for me as an artist is to make mm -hmm. sure that it's it's there for you when you need it, no matter what you're feeling. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we would like to encourage all of our confetti people now to embrace the art of confetti and whether you make some yourself or buy some from us or someone else, um, you know, as long as you just you have some confetti in your life, <laughs> we want to encourage you to think outside the box and play with it and create something with it. And then we want you to come back and email us or write us on the social or post on social media or send us a letter and let us know what did you make with the confetti and how did it make you feel and how does confetti make you feel in general? Um, and we would love to hear it and you might just get some goodies in the mail because we like, we like to send people fun stuff. Um, what a fun surprise. But we want to see, we want to see your creations. We want to see what you're doing with confetti and we want to hear what you're thinking about the artistic nature of confetti and how you're embracing that along with the beautiful messiness of your creative life. Well, friends, thank you so much for listening to our conversation about the art of confetti. As we mentioned at the top of the show, we are so excited for all that season two holds with the visitors and other confetti conversations that we will have. Thanks so much for visiting Confetti Land. Yay, thank you. This concludes the audio guided tour for the Museum of Celebratory Art here in Confettiland. We hope you have enjoyed your visit and have a deeper appreciation for confetti based art. Before you leave, please stop by our gift shop and purchase a souvenir for yourself or a gift for a loved one. Thank you for visiting and have an inspired day. For more fun, join us on the socials at The Confetti Bar, and you can join The Confetti Club to receive free inspiration delivered to your inbox at theconfettibar.com slash join. Thanks for visiting! Did that sound too? No, it was good. Okay. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Oh, good. <laughs> it made me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Did you just hear my neck pop? No. <laughs>
Okay, good. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs>